All right, everybody, welcome back. Picking up right from where we left off. And we're already getting yelled at. Don't worry, brother. There's still a ways to go. They may yet deliver. Okay, very cool, guys. So, uh, immediately, magic mapping. Two exits. One of those, I think, is the secret exit. I guess it doesn't announce the secret exit. <laughs> or maybe I'm just crazy. <sighs> Kabonk, bonk, bonk. So one thing that I should know while we're down here, though, while we're talking about kind of the differences between these areas and the areas from before, is the Minotaur actually gets buffed up pretty significantly. Now, I, I don't think he's a... Uh, oh, hey there. I don't think he's a significant threat still. But, I mean, it's kind of cool that he gets a buff, at least. Unfortunately, you spawn by the uh, big rectangle set-piece cockatrice, which just gives me infinite, long, straight hallways to shoot you from. Don't make chicken noises at me. That insectoid has still not noticed me running past him. Or he's afraid of the cockatrice. Okay, wield, bang, good enough. That ought to hold him. Wait a minute, who that? And power attack, and power attack, and power attack, and death. Worthless. Money. Money is mostly worthless. We have a lot of it, but, I mean, it's there. No. No. Ooh, potion of acid. Awesome these potions down in here where they belong. Find somebody to huck acid at. Then we'll punch this guy to death. I don't think it's really that possible. to get our unarmed skill up to 100. Okay, good that automaton doesn't care about me. But I mean, we can get our unarmed up a little bit, right? I'm not going to dominate anything else in this playthrough. Die. Die. Take my boots off. Boop. Awkward, bruh. Very awkward. Even more awkward for you, Automaton, really. Oop, didn't mean to walk there. Sneak attack! <laughs> like head bob there. <gasps> Bonk. <laughs> Boop. Alright, I mean, we're making decent progress with our unarmed skill, though. Let's 
spell book of light. Wait, what was that gem? Worthless. Um, yeah. What did we get? Acid, fruit juice, something else I had, probably booze. That's cool. Acid is good. Level 66 is not too bad, though I have been much higher before. Silver cloak. Don't do anything, but it's neat. Okay. Now, you know what? Decent source of some torches for me. I don't have infinite lanterns in this playthrough. of the stuff over here. So let's head over this way. Alright. Starting off strong with lots of potions. Love to see it. How you feeling, bud? Pretty good, it seems like. Somebody just roared past my house. I, like, shook the building. Wild stuff. I live in the middle of nowhere, for reference, so... Or pretty close to it. Like, slightly off-center of nowhere. Man, I haven't found any spellbooks that are worth anything. Spellbook of Light, that's what I get. Ah, you know what? This this reminds me of a, of a small weakness. Uh, oh, that was an amulet of life-saving. God damn. Okay, cool. Um, because you can occasionally get ghouls from here. Ah, Julian. He got thumped by a troll. That's unfortunate. You can occasionally find ghouls in there, right? They'll, they'll come out of the, uh, the gravestone. It's very cool and all. Skeletons basically have no one they can make friends with. Post-Baron. Because outside of occasionally finding a tombstone like that, and that's very rare. I think in the last three playthroughs that me and my friends have done through this game, that is the only tombstone I've seen down here. Which ain't great, you know what I mean? I'll deal with that in a moment. Ooh, brass knuckles. But that just means that skeletons are kind of on their own once you get to a certain point. Which isn't a big deal, because the game is not super difficult at this point, if you, you know, are appropriately leveled and everything like that, you know, stuff I've been saying. But still, it's kind of a bummer that you just have nobody, you have no one you can make friends with, consistently. There are still humans this deep, even, and they're, they do nothing. They are pathetic at this point. Oh, cool. Rest, please. Rest peace. But, I mean, it still, still kind of sucks, you know? I don't know. One of those little itty-bitty tiny problems that I have with the game. And it's fine, because I think skeletons are pretty good as is, even though they're bad at magic. I rated them reasonably well, because they're good at both melee and ranged combat. Which is not awful. Okay, I think that's everything. Though I did hear an incubus a second ago. Over this way. Oh, hey! But... You gotta stop. Grab that, just in case. It wasn't good. Bottle of booze, slurp it up. Alright. We'll check the cloak. It's garbage. I mean, I've been over here. I guess they just wandered over this way and I didn't deal with them. That's fine. Uh, let's head over and get down into the secret area. The secret area in this on this floor 
is the less important one, I would say. At least most of the time. By that, what I mean is... I don't know why I bothered pulling it. I can just unlock everything. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Let me take these boots off. I don't want them breaking. I saying? Oh, the, the secret areas, right. This area is the less important one, in my opinion, because I think for most people, it's the trickier one. 